Hey guys, welcome to Avery's 11 month update. Like all my videos, I'm actually pretty late with this one. She's actually a day away from being 11 and a half months old, but it is what it is. Also, Avery has no more helmet. As of yesterday, we are done with the helmet, so that's kind of more of a 12 month update, but you can obviously see she's not wearing the helmet anymore. Anyway, I'm just gonna get right into it because um, Avery does not usually have a long um, tolerance for these videos. So, updates on Avery. She was so needy. You want these crackers? I'm gonna try and give her a cracker. Hopefully that will <laughs> hold her over while I talk. At 11 months old, Avery is 20 pounds. I don't really have her height or head or anything like that. We will have her 12 month pediatrician appointment coming up and I am planning on having all those updates so I'll have those in her 12 month update video. Side note, I cannot believe I only have one more update video to go. Actually, I'm actually really excited about that because, sorry if you hear my laundry going on in the background. Um, I'm really excited about that because obviously these videos are very hard for me to get to. I'm just very busy, so it'll be nice to not have this like looming over my head every month. This past month, it does seem like Avery is so much more happy and smiley lately. It's much easier to get her to smile. She's ticklish. We can tickle her and get her to chuckle. She gives her daddy and me so much smiles, and it used to be she would only give Anthony and I big smiles and this past month she will now give like anybody big smiles that comes in contact with her which is so fun to see everybody loves seeing Avery's big smiles she has still yet to get any teeth which is wild so her smiles look hilarious because she gives these big big smiles but has no teeth so it's just like all gums all and put a picture here of it it's just so cute but I'm hoping she gets teeth soon because it kind of makes you know chewing things a little bit difficult she's not eating this cracker she's just throwing it all over the floor so that did not work out for me <laughs> Avery has started to recognize names of people so if I'll tell her and say where's Dada she knows to look for Anthony and see him. Okay, I don't know what's going on. She all of a sudden got really sad. I'm gonna try and feed her her bottle. Uh, anyway, like I was saying, she recognizes Anthony's name, or Dada. She knows Grayson and Porter, her two brothers, and also Cat, Kitty, or Felix for our cat Felix. She has yet to know who Mama is. It would be like, where's Mama? Where's Mama? And she's just like looking around, like does not know my name. So we're working on Mama. But yeah, that's been exciting to see her like recognize names of people. Okay, she just got really upset. So I just put her in the high chair. I can see her from here. She's eating her cracker now. Apparently she only eats crackers in the high chair. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, name recognition is good except for mama. I feel like it took me forever to explain that. Avery also knows how to give high fives. So Anthony and I will put our hand out and we'll say high five or tap tap and she will tap our hands. So that is super encouraging to see. She also loves tapping and splashing in the water. Okay, so I moved the camera over here um, so I could feed Avery and talk to you guys. So sorry, this is just kind of a crazy video so far. Yeah, it is really crazy. Avery also loves bath time. She loves to tap on the water. She'll splash. She loves grabbing all the toys and the water. She loves bath time. She knows when I go and take her upstairs and get her naked that it's bath time and she gets excited. If she's ever in a bad mood, the two things that I can do to make her happy is either one, sing happy and you know it, because she loves the clapping, or two, put her in the bath because she loves bath time. She's shaking her head, but she does. Avery babbles all the time. I'm sure you've been hearing her. Mostly it's still da-da, a lot of na-na-na-na, some mama. She has said mama before, but it's still mostly like da-da or na-na. We are still waiting for her first word. She has not um, said that yet. <laughs> She's, she loves to shake her head now, as you can see. Avery has started to get more of an opinion. She'll let you know when she's upset, as you can see. <laughs> um, she used to be okay with Anthony and I just kind of like um, walking away, like leaving her to play with her toys and walking in the kitchen. Like we can still see her, but not 
right next to her. But as she's gotten older, she's gotten more opinionated. Like, no, I want you here. I want to see you. I want you close to me. I want you playing with me. So a lot more opinionated, a lot more sassy. She could also be teething with her sassiness. Again, she still hasn't gotten any teeth. She still chews on her fingers like crazy. Her favorite toy is her little teether crinkly toy. But I feel in her mouth every day and I have yet to feel any teeth as of yet. So hopefully they're coming soon. Avery loves trying to grab everything that's in her reach, especially things that are not toys. Those are what she goes for first. So if the kids leave out like magnet tiles or if they leave out like instructions to a board game or like just the most random things, she wants those first before she goes for her own toys. She's gotten really, really good at rolling to where she wants to go. She rolls all around the room. She has no problem with that. She is still not sitting on her own. She is still not crawling or pulling up on anything. We are in physical therapy. We receive services once every other week. So we are working on it. Her sitting has gotten a lot better. She now will sit. L lately, if we can distract her, she will sit for about 10 to 15 minutes at a time. If she's not distracted, then she gets bored and she just ends up like falling over and rolling over because she's like, I don't really want to do this. So that's been encouraging. And then crawling, she will actually get in the crawl position, which beforehand she would not. So that's been encouraging. Um, and we're trying to show her the steps of like hand, knee, hand, knee to try to get her to crawl. So we're working on it. We've had two physical therapy appointments so far. We have another one coming up next week. So I'm hopeful that with these services, um, she will get these skills down soon. Avery is getting really, really close to dropping her first nap. Even now, like she does two naps a day, but her morning nap is like 30 minutes, maybe an hour at most. Um, some days she just skips it entirely. And then her afternoon nap is kind of poor too, because I think like she takes two really bad naps instead of just one really long, good nap. Kind of looking into the future now that she's 11 and a half months old. She actually, this is day three or four that she has not taken a morning nap. So I think we're kind of done with the morning nap, which I'm all for because I'm hoping it will make it so that she takes a longer afternoon nap. I'm hoping when she gets used to this transition, she will lengthen her afternoon nap because even now it's like barely two hours. And so I'm hoping to get it to three, three and a half hours um, when she gets used to it. So yeah, getting bigger. Avery is very easy to put down at, to bed at night. She is like my first baby that's just been like, well, I think Grayson was really easy too, but it's like Avery, I will put her down and she won't make a peep. She just rolls over and falls asleep. Super easy. When now when I put her down for naps, especially now that she's like fighting the first nap, she'll just like whine and, and babble in her crib and not really go to sleep. But for nighttime, she is like serious about it. And she's still sleeping through the night as of 11 months. So that's been really, really good. Ask me at the 12 month how she's doing once the time change hits because that happened in her 11 to 12 months. So you'll hear about that next month. Avery loves watching her brothers play, of course. She loves Grayson and Porter. She thinks they're crazy. In fact, this morning she was in her crib and Porter like crawled into her crib. Yes, he climbed it, he's crazy. And he was like laying next to her and he was like playing with her mobile and she was just like not complaining at all, just like loved watching him play. So she loves her brothers. Also, I've been watching my niece, Ivy, and so she loves looking at Ivy. She actually kind of beats her up, <laughs> so I have to kind of keep them apart because she'll try to like reach out and like touch her face. I mean, she does that with adults too. It's just Ivy's a lot littler than her, so Avery just doesn't understand her strength. But yeah, she loves looking at other kids and other babies. She smiles, she talks to them, it's like super cute. Avery still loves bouncing. If she could be in her bouncer all day, she would. We have restricted time in the bouncer due to the physical therapist saying that we need to not restrict her because it's best for her to be like on the floor and like working on her core muscles and things like that. So we haven't been getting her in the bouncer. Maybe we'll do it like for a couple minutes like every other day. It's very minor, which is sad because she honestly loves 
the bouncer. She loves it so much. Like we'll put, we'll hold her up to stand and she just wants to bounce in our arms. It's, it's kind of sad, but it is what it is. Um, also Avery loves playing peekaboo. So cute. I think I talked about this last month too, but she, if she's near a blanket, she will grab that blanket and she will put it over her face or if I put it on her and then she will like tear it off herself. Like she does peekaboo all by herself and I'll tear it off and I'll tickle her and she laughs and smiles. She loves peekaboo. It's so cute to see. This month, Avery also has started to show an interest in reading books. It's not all the time, but she actually will try to like turn the pages now, which is really exciting to see. Like she's interested in books and yeah that's kind of it for Avery so we're getting ready to celebrate her first birthday we've been planning her first birthday party I've talked about it in my regular vlogs but we're gonna do a theme of some bunny is one because we're gonna celebrate it on Easter her birthday is the day before Easter this year so how fitting to do like a bunny theme and yeah, we're gonna have a smash cake for her. Her one-year-old photo shoot is next weekend. So we're gonna see how she does with that. And yeah, all the first birthday fun. I still need to buy her some presents. I have no idea what I'm gonna get her for her birthday. If you have any suggestions, please leave them down in the comments below. But yeah, we're so excited to celebrate little Avery. Can't believe it's almost been a year. I always am excited on each birthday because I turn to my husband like, yes, we've made it another year. We've survived. We did it. So super excited about that. We are just mostly focusing on um, working on her core muscles, trying to get her to sit on her own. That's really what I would really like to see out of her soon is just to be able to put her down, have her sit, and not worry about her toppling over so we're working on it and then of course crawling and, and being mobile as well but um all in good time so anyway sorry that this video was kind of crazy avery's mood is just avery um <laughs> i also haven't really talked about her eating so as of 11 months we were just mostly doing purees um but as we've gotten into the 11 to 12 month i am starting to do solids with avery she has no interest in picking up the food and putting in her mouth um the physical therapist said that's very common with her not like sitting up by herself so i do have to hand feed her all the solids but over the past week or so, her eating has gotten much, much better. It used to be that I would give her solids and she would just spit it out or gag and puke. And as we've done more and more solids every day, she gets more familiar with it. She's working her mouth more. And so I see less and less gagging. We do have to avoid like hard foods because she'll just gag on them. So I try to do soft things like right now I'm feeding her a blueberry muffin. Um, I do like pancakes um, or I've done a lot of fruits, blueberries, raspberries, strawberries. I just cut them up really um, fine. So we are working on that with Avery. She's been doing a lot better. It does seem like she honestly prefers solids sometimes rather than just her milk, which is like a really encouraging thing to see. So I'm hoping that as she gets more comfortable with eating solids, we can eventually work up to those harder solids and not have her gag. So that's been um, something we've been working on on top of everything else. So yeah, anyway, I think that's going to be about it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't you gag. Don't you do it. Let me know if you have any comments down below. Say bye, Avery. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye, 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 bye-bye. <laughs> Let me know if you have any questions down below, and I will see you guys for one last time for her 12-month update. Although, of course, you guys know I do the, every year I do an update with the kids, but um, this will be, or next month will be the last monthly update for Avery. So stay tuned for that. I'll have that coming out in a few weeks. Bye, guys. <laughs>